a weekly reading and the song I heard for you today was by AOJ and it's called Can I Get Your Number? Seeing strong celebration energy here. So you could have been on a night out, that's what I'm picking up here. And I'm definitely feeling like a wavy sort of energy here. So you could have been highly intoxicated or that's like someone you're dealing with. I feel like you got quite drunk. I'm getting a drunk vibe here. I'm getting a high vibe too. So take it how it resonates. This could be you or the person you're dealing with, but I'm picking up on strong crush energy. I'm getting like an attraction here. I'm getting like a seduction sort of energy as well. So I feel like you're very sexy. That's what I'm seeing here. You've got like a, a living physique I'm hearing. So I feel like someone's attracted to your body but I'm also hearing attracted to your vibe and I'm hearing high life as well and I'm hearing high light so you could be someone who wears a lot of makeup I'm getting like high light energy like you know you just done yourself up you looked extremely sexy you was out you had a good vibe to you that's what I'm picking up someone likes your vibe I'm also picking up on someone who actually smiled at you and you smiled back you may or may not remember this that's what I'm picking up here but I feel like this person like fell in love at first sight I'm hearing love attraction energy and I'm hearing source it's like this person felt like you know God sent you towards them or you know this meeting was meant to be but I feel like this person may be quite shy or quite reserved sort of energy but they definitely want to know who, who you are they want your name I mean they want your number they want your snapchat that's what I'm picking up this person wants your digits they want your details that's what I'm picking up they've been watching you for some time that's what I'm picking up this person likes how you know you put in the sort of detail into yourself that's what I'm picking up so you could be someone you're very nice and kind that's what I'm picking up you have like you know a sweet sort of demeanor that's what I'm hearing as well you definitely someone you know you like an aphrodisiac that's what my guides are telling me like you look sweet you look like you taste sweet you know you look like you eat the best foods in the world and get in the energy of strawberries like grapes sort of energy you look like you take care of this person they're definitely watching you look at this this is like this energy over here this wolf energy watching you know the sweetest girl they've ever seen in their life you may look like this you may have black hair and you know you sort of wear a side part in that's what I'm picking up as well you could have wore a red dress on your night out but you definitely look like someone who's kind caring sincere i'm hearing real as well this person could have lost someone in the past i definitely feel like they think they've been guided towards you or they may have asked for some sort of guidance and then they sort of saw you so they definitely feel like you know you was heaven sent or sent into their life by a past on loved one i'm picking that up too i definitely feel that energy of like some sort of occasion or some sort of event here this could have been like like a funeral after party I'm hearing like a wake as well but I definitely feel like you know you're someone you stand out from the crowd you don't fit in you could be someone who's like an oracle like you're tapped in to source that's what I'm picking up so you may know who I'm talking about when I'm saying that you know someone's watching you but I feel like a lot of people are watching you and you sort of you know you work out who these sort of demons are and you know you know you don't go near these sort of energies I'm hearing these sort of bastards here this person feels like you was heaven sent like I said they definitely recognize that you're different you 
could be highly spiritual. You're definitely someone who's tapped in with their ancestors. And you could come from an Egyptian bloodline. That's what I'm picking up as well. I definitely just heard um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I'm hearing Sagittarius as well. This person could have, you have some of those sort of signs in their chart. I'm hearing that as well. I definitely feel like, you know, you, you have a psychic ability, like you're tapped in. That's what I'm picking up. So you might have, you know, noticed this person looking or smiling at you. And, you know, you're someone who would go home and deep this. That's what I'm picking up. Or you may be a bit unconfident that, you know, this person actually likes you like that but you definitely notice them that's what i'm picking up and this person may not you know be spiritual i'm seeing that too but they know that you are so that could be a fear in them that's what i'm picking up like they didn't come towards you because they know you spiritual or they know you sort of know things so they sort of stood back and watched you that's what i'm picking up as well i definitely feel like you know you may be someone who has just come out of some sort of toxic relationship or you're someone, you know, who's, you know, young, free and single. You don't want to be held down. You don't want sort of no marriage yet. You're not looking for, you know, a stable partner. You're just someone, like I said, you stand out from the crowd. You know, there's a lot of demonic people out there, demonic shit. So you're not even looking for someone. You'd rather meet someone in the flesh sort of energy. You're not sort of, you know, looking for someone. You'd rather wait till they come towards you sort of energy as well. I definitely feel like this person could be trying to call you in spiritually or they could be thinking about doing some sort of spell on you to lure you in so this could be like a love spell even sexual attraction magic i don't know you know take it how it resonates but i definitely feel like this person cannot reach you because you're highly ambitious so you're someone who focuses on their job their work their sort of craft i'm hearing and you know you have no time for dating or relationships at the moment but you're definitely someone this person sees as a loyal sort of committed person and that's what you would be if you was in a relationship with this person but i feel like you're someone who's highly focused on their dreams you may have had a dream about this person or you're about to because i feel like this person's trying to manipulate the energy to try and come into your life like that instead of you know like coming up to you and speaking to you this person's trying to force some sort of you know magnetic sort of attraction to each other without sort of having to do the work so this person could be dabbling in you know some sort of spell or they paid for a spell or they've gone to someone who could do this sort of work and call you in for them i'm seeing that as well now don't feel like it's a good energy if it's forced or someone's manipulating the energy to come into your life either even though I feel like a sense of this person, you know, like falling madly head over heels in love with you. I feel like this person is using some sort of force to come into your life or some sort of force to get your number. So they could be asking around, you know, people you know I'm hearing. They could know an ex, I'm hearing that as well. And they could definitely know, you know, that you was in a committed relationship before. I'm picking that up as well. So they may have a lot of knowledge on you. That's what I'm picking up as well. I definitely feel like you're not an easy target. Like you're not someone, you know, who someone could manipulate easily. That's what I'm picking up here because you're definitely one of God's children. You're one of the chosen. This person could be using some sort of, you know, magic or pretending to be, you know, somebody else in the dream state i'm seeing that as well this could be you know like someone who you know could be a perfect match to you or a twin flame energy i'm seeing that as well 
I don't feel like this person is a twin flame though, or a divine person. I just feel like they're forcing some sort of, you know, this could be a ritual or, you know, they're forcing something into your life to make you feel like, you know, they're your twin flame. But I feel like this could be a karmic person here, definitely. I'm not getting the vibe of a twin here. This could be someone who's watching you online, watching your moves. I'm seeing someone who's watching you going all over the globe. So you could have like some sort of tracker on your phone or if you're on Snapchat, you know, your location's turned on. So this person could be watching your location, where you go, what you're doing. You know, they might be seeing you, you know, move on from your past sort of person and you've fallen out with I'm seeing that as well I definitely feel like this person's more you know sexually attracted to you than you know like a love sort of energy so this person could be you know come and pretend you know be some sort of pretender here who you know is actually some sort of player they may target you know beautiful women because of their bodies i'm seeing that as well or this could be you know they targeted you because you're in a healing energy from a past person and they're trying to like see if you have any sort of imbalances where they can sort of sneak in or swoop in i'm hearing that as well i definitely feel like this person you know they have no emotions or they're emotionally unavailable and you know this person just wants one sort of thing so they do get hold of your number and try and talk to you. You know, this isn't a love sort of energy. This is someone who will pretend to fall in love with you so that, you know, they can sleep with you. I'm hearing another notch on the bedpost energy. So this person could be someone who sleeps around. That's what I'm picking up. So be careful if you do meet this person or if they do sort of find you because I definitely feel like this person targeted you, sent some sort of energy towards you to call you in. I definitely feel like this is not, you know, of God. This is like a childish energy who sort of offers someone something. This could be a breadcrumb. And they put no work in whatsoever in their relationship. They just want one thing. So they might, you know, have several girls. That's what I'm picking up this person doesn't have plans for the future they're not a divine masculine with the emperor in reverse this is you know someone who will pretend to be everything you ever asked for and promise you the world but they'll give you absolutely nothing i definitely feel like you have a twin flame out there but it is not this person this person will pose as a twin because they know you're spiritual they know that you know you're single you're healing you're available you know you might be quite shy or kind or too nice that's what i'm picking up and this person knows that about you could have heard about you or had past conversations with exes I'm seeing that it would be a real injustice to get with this person or to even sleep with them because I'm definitely seeing someone who will you know cause some sort of tragedy or trauma and you will be bonded with them in a karmic cycle from hell because they're a sneaky motherfucker that's what I'm seeing this person participates in juju spam work i'm hearing some sort of blocker energy this person could be trying to block you from moving on with somebody else or finding love or they're just sent in to block you from a real twin flame that's what i'm picking up here so be aware because this bad offer here is not the one and i've definitely seen you know avoid contact with this person do not upset their call do not upset their friend requests snapchat sort of ad you know any sort of social media here this person is a liar i'm hearing a dog energy as well and you know this person's coming in posing as a twin flame because they saw you out saw you available did their research on you and now 
they're sending some sort of shocking vibes towards you, some shocking sort of energy, some sort of, you know, you'll wake up in the morning and have an epiphany that you're supposed to be with somebody, but you're not. This is all bullshit and grief energy that you'll be living in if you do this. It's the wrong term, that's what I'm hearing. You're supposed to stay single, sufficient, self-sufficient, abundant, putting that self-love and self-care into your life only. Okay, so there's your reading and I hope this message helps you and if you'd like a personal reading, please email me. My details are in the description box below. Okay, so bye.